Hi DF team, what are the chances we'll see an Intel GPU in the next gen consoles? There seems to be an assumption Microsoft and Sony will use AMD hardware, uh, potentially slash unlikely Nvidia, but why not Intel? I feel that Intel is making a strong play in the hardware GPU space and the company is struggling financially, which may create a perfect opportunity for console manufacturers to bundle Intel hardware at a competitive price point. What are the realities to this prospect? Any reason it would not be plausible? Um, I'm going to have a quick stab at this one before I throw it out to you. Um, there are issues with Intel. They're not in a great place at the moment. So potentially there is the possibility that a deal could be done, but it would have to be a really good deal. What do we know about Intel at the moment? Um, CPU side of things, they could produce a fantastic um, piece of kit for any console. I've got no doubt about that. And they're on a good track there, regardless of the recent issues with 13th to the 14th gen core. I think that's not a problem. The GPU side of things, um, well, if we look at Arc as it is so far, it's it's not particularly great. All of the features are in place, uh, and those features are pretty good, right? You know, um, particularly the ray tracing and machine learning support, and that's there. However, the the big thing about a console is um, area efficiency, you know, the size of the chip. ARC isn't particularly great there at all. However, we do have a new ARC coming and we just have no idea really as to the efficiency improvements there. I'd say potentially it's viable. It could, it could happen. Maybe now is the time for Intel to want to make this kind of deal. But similar to the fantastic deal that Nintendo got with Tegra X1 back in the day, it really would have to be a fantastic deal. And those chips absolutely would need to be viable uh, for a console. And currently there are question marks on that. Um, Oliver, what do you think? Yeah, I think there's a relatively low chance. At the moment, it seems like power consumption and die efficiency are a big issue. The current Intel GPUs are manufactured on six nanometers, which will obviously change with Battlemage. But who knows, I, I think there would be a real question about exactly how efficient those GPUs are in the future. Um, and, and it'll depend, it would depend, hypothetically speaking, on exactly how strong those GPUs are. And then separately, I think personally that Sony is probably very committed to AMD. And I don't think that Microsoft's future is an Intel-oriented future. It just does not seem right to me, especially when you're looking at Integration with Windows, potentially, where Intel does not have the best drivers, does not have the best maturity, does not have the best support, even a lot of games, where in some games they come out and they just don't run well at all on Intel GPUs for a while, right? They do need uh, a different level of driver support for those titles. So I think it doesn't make a lot of sense on the Microsoft side in light of those potential constraints. On the Sony side, I think they're just AMD until they die at this point, and I suspect that they figured out a way to actually work with AMD and add some of the features they want to add into the uh, GPU architectures, make those architectures what they want them to be, and extend them basically independent of AMD or in concert with AMD. Okay, John, any input? No, not really. I feel you guys kind of covered that well, but it was <laughs> it, it would be interesting to see though. I will just say I'm fairly certain we're going to see more AMD consoles going forward. Yeah, I think I feel so. pretty I think confident in that. Yeah, especially if the move to, um, uh, you know, a more Windows-like architecture is on the, you know, is Microsoft's uh, plan. It just makes sense to go with um, a supplier that can actually produce really good, efficient yeah. parts that have been proven in the Windows space. And it's kind of weird that we're not including Intel in that, but, you know, the Arc drivers are still in a really uh, early phase overall, I'd say, even though there have been leaps and bounds there.